before we get cranked up in this next section of the restoration we're doing, I want to tell everybody about a fellow I, who, who commented on, on my video. So I went to his website, looked around, and he is Scott TV 1962 now He likes electronics, uh, according to his, uh, his channel. He says he, his, you know, his two hobbies are electronic restoration and flying radio control aircraft. You know, we, we as a group need to bring this boy into the fold here. He's been a, a member of YouTube since, what, let me see, February of last year. And he's only got 26 subscribers. What kind of crap is that? You know, come on. He, this, this fella, he's restoring radios. He's restoring televisions. And just about everything else you can think of here. Let me see. He's, he's got a sharp television, a Philco, a Sylvania. Uh, he wants to get a hold of a uh, of a, a Sylvania halo light. That's one of his bucket list items. He said. So let's go ahead and pop on over to Scott TV 1962. Watch a couple of his videos. He's got. Let me see. He's got uh, four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got 30 videos. You can entertain yourself a little bit over there. Okay. Let's help this fellow out. Let's get his subscriber count up. We can do this. Tell you what, let's go ahead and check the CRT on this TV. And in order to do it, I'm going to need a CRT tester. And I have a B&K 400 here that was sent to me by Brendan, my mentor, a couple of years ago. I cleaned it all up, gave it a case of good work over, restored the inside. Got her looking real good, and she was already operating good. But now it's looking just as good as it operates. So... Let's go ahead and, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and open it up and show everybody what it looks like first. This is what we got. It's been around a while, but she's now in excellent, excellent condition. Very, I did a lot of shining on this and a lot of cleaning. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hook this connector right here. We're going to stretch it up and we're going to hook it right to the back of that neck of that tube right there. And then what we're looking for, when we're done, to find out whether the tube is good, we are looking for the H light to be off, the G1 and G2 to be half and half, which means it's a good tube. Now what does that mean? It means these three lights right here. We want it to be H to be off, and a half a light, and half a light. We'll see half a light if they're good. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this baby down here. For, we'll do that test with it in this, in this position right here. Then we're going to go ahead and go to Emission, and we're going to press this button right here, and we're going to see if we can get up into the good area. That's what we're looking for. These are, these are microamps, okay? So let's get it set up. All right, the first thing we have to do is go ahead and turn it on. Then the red light is lit. It doesn't matter where we set this. All we want to do is turn it on. And we leave it in the continuity and short position. Now we go ahead and take this baby plug her in and it's got a key there it's got a key slot see the slot matches up with the slot on the tube well it's supposed to come on John get that thing on there for there we go now we go ahead push her on down to where she's seated well and she is now we just let her cook for about oh, I'm gonna let her cook for about a half an hour see what happens it's been about a half an hour and as you can see we have two lights although this one is a little bit weak a half a light and a half a light it, it would be nice if I could get this one to light up as bright as this one but we do have it and according to our instructions remember now uh, we need an out a heater out and two half lights and that's what we've got heater G or grid one and two all right, let's check emission now. We'll go ahead and flip this up to emission. We're looking for at least 300. I like to get in this area right here. Not quite, not quite. That'll give us a picture, but it's not what I was looking for. But I'll tell you what, if we wind up hooking, the, you know, this tube will give us a picture, but if we wind up that it's just not a good clear picture it's all washed out and everything there is a plan B all right before closing out the video uh, I've been working on the chassis doing uh, 
all of the capacitors, you know that. I ran out of 0 0.01 and 0 0.047s. So I put an order in to Just Radios, and the first box has come in. Uh, uh, these are the 0 0.047s. I also ordered some electrolytics. Two of the electrolytics are 200 microfarads, and they go in the chassis. They're two of the uh, filter caps, electrolytics, and uh, we have some others. They'll be in in the next shipment. So this will keep me busy. Uh, I think the second shipment should arrive in about two days. So that's it for now. Nice, short, sweet video. Until next time, this is John. It is the big moment, ladies and gentlemen, the big moment to find out whether or not the fluorescent light around that uh, screen cover, whatever you want to call it, basil, whatever, to find out if it's going to work. And what I've done is the two wires down here that run back to the primary on the transformer, it's just two wires, I gator wired those over to an electrical cord that I have. I had uh, soldered ends on it bare ends and I'm going to go ahead and make sure they don't touch and then I've got that plugged into my power strip up here and all I'm going to do is hit the switch and I hope it does not light at first because I think I've got the switch off the switch that controls the uh, halo light on this set is right here it's a three position switch and uh, the original TVs had the switch in the rear way back in the early 50s <clears throat> but this is the middle 50s, and they come up with enough sense to put the switch on the front. So here goes. Let's see if it's going to work. Switch on. Lights out, everybody. Where's the switch? Can't even find it. There we go. <laughs> Holy mackerel, after 59 years. Talk about bringing back memories. Holy mackerel. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can go up one more notch. Oh, makes it even brighter. Oh, man, this is too much. Too much. Oh, I can't tell you how satisfied I am with this. <laughs> oh, God. I'll tell you what. My mentor, Brendan, deserves a huge pat on the back for this one. I cannot tell you how proud I am to even know this guy, much less, you know, be under his tutelage and help on an as-needed basis. He's always there. What a guy. What a guy. One last note. It's been over an hour now of this uh, CRT cooking. Let's go ahead and check the emission now. Ooh, look at there. We're going to have us a good picture. I'm going to let it cook for another hour. Every time I get on the computer, I get this little visitor that comes down here and wants to be picked up. He's so rusty. He just comes down there and he pops his little head up in there. He says, Pick me up. Give me a pet. He says, I'm so tired. Give me a snacky. <laughs> and then after a while, he'll, he'll bail out just like that. <laughs>